Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm a mom to a beautiful boy. His name is Star. In today's video, I'm showing you guys what my baby boy eats in a day. He's currently 11 months old and yes, he's still breastfeeding. I tend to stop in next month, which is when he will be a year old. For no reason, I feel guilty to stop breastfeeding. If you're watching this and your mom, let me know if you feel guilty or if you feel guilty when you wanted to stop your baby from breastfeeding because I'm struggling with that right now. But I've decided, I've made up my mind, I just hope I don't go back, you know, or take my word back to stop breastfeeding. Anyways, back to the video. I'm just going to show you guys easy peasy ideas and what a typical day or breakfast, lunch, dinner is for my baby. And so currently the time is 12.30, this is past noon, and this wasn't my intention. I wanted to start off, you know, filming very early in the morning, which I did, but I did that without audio so i'll insert a clip and talk you guys through how we did start it i never think i never know i'm stuck and left alone i've been lost i've been fine my cause is not defined when you kiss me cereal because that's the quickest thing to make in the morning and I don't want to go into making a proper breakfast for him because that will get him more cranky. What I use to spice up um, giving cereal to my baby is fruits, fruits like banana or avocado. I have avocado but it's not ripe so I had to opt for using banana. The portion of cereal I offer to start is half of what he would normally take and that's because I just want him to hold it in for like two hours before we have a proper breakfast. So for me I'm on an intermittent fasting and that means I eat my first meal 10 a.m. Making pancakes for breakfast. Come and try me scrambled eggs, dipped pancakes in syrup. This is what it's having for breakfast. So you guys should look out for signs that baby's done eating. Start so sign is he pulls my clothes out. He only had the eggs and a few apples and we're done eating. Papa, are you done? Are you done? Okay. So I also wanted to mention that my baby started his baby led winning journey 
when he was six months old and the few signs I knew that he was ready to start eating was number one he started reaching out for my food when I was eating number two he would always salivate when I eat number three he was able to hold his head up he had a good head control and number four he would always want to grab anything I hold in case you're wondering when to start the right time to start I will drop a video on all this information but I also want to add here that this is the signs I looked out for before I started start on this journey. Say hi. Say hi everybody. So guys, this is my baby boy and it's time for lunch, so let's go make lunch. So this is lunch for today. This is pasta. Let me show you guys what pasta I used. So basically, this is the pasta I bought earlier. I just added leftovers to you and give it a good stir. And we're ready for lunch. So to make baby lead winning very easy, one additional tip I'll give you is always prep down your meal so you don't start making meals when your baby is hungry or you don't rush to the kitchen when your baby wakes up unexpectedly so it's having pasta orange and fish that's it this is lunch stuff let me bring him in so you can take it because i'm sure he's hungry As you can see, he's taking his time to eat. He does take his time to eat. So he might be here for 30 minutes. And the important thing is, he gets to really eat his food. And most times, I just stay afar, watch him from afar, because sometimes he gets very clingy, and then he try to grab me and come out. So, because I don't want that to happen, I'll step away, but still watch him closely. started off baby led winning when he was six months so at this stage he has gotten to he can eat by himself with little or no supervision but doesn't take out the fact that I always look at him when he eats just so that he doesn't put his hand in his eyes or uh, turn over the plates this plate I used here I'll leave a link to where I got this plate from this is a suction plate what I mean by suction plate is it stays glued to your baby high chair so there's no form of um, pulling done by a baby that would pull out this plate. I have other plates, I have non-suction plates and trust me, horrible. even this morning there are times he was trying to turn over his food and you know spill everything that was just like trying to control him and stop him because I wanted to get used to um, using a non-suction plate because I may not have this on the go everywhere I go to. So I use both, I use a non-suction, I use a suction plate and just it, it depends on the mood and the kind of food is eating right so if you have not subscribed to my channel do subscribe turn on notification bell that's the most important thing if you're a mom a new mom or your mom to be i'll be sharing all these tips on what you need to get to start a baby on the mini journey all the materials you need items you need must have items you need i would be dropping that video this week so look out for it I'll also be dropping another video as regards the mistakes I made when I started baby led winning with this boy. Like I made a lot of mistakes and one of them was choking, not knowing the difference between choking and gagging. I'm just here thinking about what we'd have for dinner. I think I'll play around with, um, we have broccoli and I might make like... <gasps> Done eating. Anytime he's trying to come out, it means I'm done, man. I'm done. So, I don't want orange. Thank you. See, empty. Let me show you guys. Like his plate is empty. He finished his food. Hi. Hi. 
Hello guys, so it's dinner time. I intend to have like a stir fried rice for my son. Um, I have here eggs, I have here broccoli, I have eggplants, frozen eggplants um, that I kept in the freezer, as well as bell pepper, different mix, and carrots, and Titus fish, and corn. This is cooked corn. So I'm going to use all this to make the stir fried rice. Uh, nothing special, just using um, leftover rice to make this. So I'll show you guys what that looks like in a minute. This is what it, lo it looks like. This is fish, the Titus fish. I served it with banana. This is basically my life. This is basically what it eats. Just mixing one or two things. I think the best um, tip I'll give for you guys is if you're struggling with um, baby leg pain, the whole idea of having separate meals for a baby can be very stressful. So what you can do is always prep down, prep down meals. That's the best way. That's the only way I literally survive, which is prepping down meals. You can see how easy it was for me to make this dinner. It took me less than 15 minutes or 10 minutes to, you know, make this up, and that's because I have already made prepped down most of the ingredients I used and I have some of them frozen so when I need them I just bring them out from the freezer and use them I hope you enjoyed watching this video I hope you've been able to learn one or two things and if you have let me know down in the comment section if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for turn the notification bell to get notified when I drop a new video thank you guys for watching see you guys in my next video bye, bye guys